Ultra Kill 7 Layer is here. Introducing Violence! Violence is one of the more interesting layers to pop up in Ultra Kill, and not just because it is the epitome of what the game stands for, no, it's possibly the most cinematic layer, but also the most emotional as Ultra Kill is now reaching the end of its runtime, introducing us with four levels, three new enemies, one new mini boss, I think, and one new boss that is actually just the level itself. Violence starts us off in the Garden of Forking Paths. I don't know the story behind it. I know it's based on the actual book, The Garden of Forking Paths, but I never read it, but I heard it's interesting. But that's besides the point. We are introduced to our first new enemy, the mannequins. But they are just standing there. MENACINGLY! Since they are just standing there, we will be on our merry way for a fetch quest. Ooh, I think I pissed them off. Oh, now you guys move! The mannequins look like they will be a hassle, but they are more vulnerable to direct damage as well as being resistant to explosives. It appears with two ricochets are able to put down one man. And of course, Saw is putting in extreme amounts of work. What the sh That is the one mini boss citation needed I was referring to. Eventually, we do catch up to the Minotaur, but it's not in the way you would expect. to 7-2 we are introduced to a new grappling point that behaves like a time switch and then we meet the guttermen not to be mistaken with the gutter tanks guttermen are like doom chain gunners and are the game's form of anti-air for rocket launcher users the best way to take care of them is to kill them as fast as possible breaking their shields with the knuckle blasters so that they take more damage and to leave them to be parable with the feedbacker the gutter tanks on the other hand are as what their name implies tanky and they are more or less designed to calculate where you move even when approaching them so it is encouraged that if you get close to them you dash forward so they miss their attack but even at range you aren't safe you have to stay on the move or your rockets will obliterate you highly recommended to fight them in mid range and if you fight them in close quarters to either kite them or to bait out their melee attack to avoid it so, uh, apparently they're nerfing the gutter tank and now you're able to parry them after they miss a melee. Yeah, I guess my point still stands. You still might as well bait out their melee. Uh, is this World War 3? I guess I just gotta- Oh dear god, the Covenant are dropping in! Just go off, go off. 
7-3. Okay. We... Oh, dear God. When did this become a horror game? Well, at least the game won't have any more other nasty surprises. Well, I stand corrected. Seven dash four. Oh, shit. <laughs> According to the lore, this was made by humans. How? I don't even know. But this is possibly the first time we don't really have a boss fight at the end of a layer, because this is more like a platforming section, if anything. The entire level is the boss, but it's not anything like 6-1 or P-2's gauntlet, so it's a bit of a bummer, but let's just get this over with real quick. Hello, the whole thing is going to be